Welcome back to Survey of Engineering. In this video, we will begin to explore the field of civil and environmental engineering. This video will cover an introduction to the field of civil and environmental engineering. We will discuss the subdisciplines in this field and talk about the different places that civil and environmental engineers work. The portfolio questions you should answer for this video are what are the sub-disciplines of civil and environmental engineering listed in this video? And please include a short description of each in your notebook. Throughout history, civil engineers have designed and built facilities that have advanced civilization and provided for a higher standard of living. Civil engineers have been building things since 2980 BC when the Egyptian pyramids were being built all the way up to a more recent modern mo marvel, like the current tallest building in the world, the Burj Khalifa in Dubai. Civil engineering is generally considered to be the oldest field of engineering, and it deals with the design, construction, and maintenance of the physical and naturally built environment. Let's talk about the subdisciplines that are found in civil and environmental engineering. The first we'll talk about is structural engineering. Structural engineers work on buildings, bridges, towers, and other structures. They are responsible for designing the, these structures in a way that will be safe and economical. One of the most important aspects of structural engineering is the consideration of the environment the structure will experience. For example, earthquake, wind, loads, etc. Pictured here, you can see the Vasco da Gama Bridge in Lisbon, Portugal, and the New York City skyline. Uh, this is the building of the One World Trade Center. Construction engineering is another subdiscipline of civil engineering. Construction engineers are involved with the design and construction site management of infrastructures such as highways bridges, airports, railroads, buildings, dams, and utilities. Another subdiscipline is environmental engineering. Environmental engineering is the integration of science and engineering principles used to improve the natural environment to provide healthy water, air, and land for human habitation and for other organisms and to remediate pollution sites. It involves wastewater management and air pollution control, recycling, waste disposal, radiation protection, industrial hygiene, environmental sustainability, and public health issues, as well as knowledge of environmental engineering law. It also includes studies on the environmental impact of proposed construction projects. Sanitary landfills, like the one pictured in the lower right-hand corner, provide safe disposal of municipal wastes, thus protecting the environment. The pipelines that are shown in this photo collect methane gas from the landfill, which is then used to generate electricity. Another sub-discipline is transportation engineering. Transportation engineers provide fast, efficient, and safe transportation facilities. These include highways, railroads, ports, airports, and other similar projects. Geotechnical engineering is another subdiscipline of civil and environmental engineering. Geotechnical engineers investigate, test, and analyze the properties of soil and rock for projects ranging from dams and building foundations to landfills and the ground below roads. Geotechnical engineering is required in all aspects of civil engineering because most projects are supported by the ground. Construction workers um, place geoform blocks in a trench on 3300 South here in this picture in uh, Salt Lake City, Utah. This street is an arterial street in the Salt Lake Valley and they use these geofoam blocks to protect a buried nat natural gas pipeline which cross crosses the Wasatch Fault. University of Utah civil engineer Stephen Bartlett and his students performed numerical simulations of earthquake fault ruptures which showed that a geoform 
protected pipeline could withstand up to four times more vertical force from an earthquake than a traditional soil cover. Water resources engineering involves the many processes related to movement of water on the surface of and through the earth. Engineers in this subdiscipline are concerned with sustainable water, sustain sustainable water resource management, systems of water supply and distribution, water quality, coastal oceanic processes, flooding prevention, and disaster mitigation. The hydrology of surface runoff and hydrometeorological meteorological processes. Water resources engineering includes the various civil engineering projects needed to provide safe drinking water and flood control works. These projects include aqueducts, pipelines, water treatment plants, dams, levees, and other similar works. So where do civil engineers work? Civil engineers work in many different settings, ranging from quiet modern offices to job sites which may be in remote areas. They may travel frequently or relocate temporarily while working on a distant project. They may work with other professional and technical personnel on temporary project teams. Most civil engineers work for consulting firms, which design projects and pro produce plans and specifications for building them or government agencies, ranging from cities to the federal government. Some might join the military or work for manufacturers, such as pump, pipe, or steel building manufacturers. Civil engineering is far from your average desk job. In summary, we talked about what the field of civil and environmental engineering is, some of the various subdisciplines in the field, and some of the places where these types of engineers work. For class next time, if you haven't done so, go back and answer the portfolio questions for this video. And in class next time, we'll be discussing further the field of civil and environmental engineering. Think about which of these subdisciplines that we talked about that might hold the most interest for you. Thank you and see you in class.